Well, hello. How's it going, Twitch? Welcome back. Train some world. Back at it again with uh, with uh, the new route that I have not played yet. My only exposure to it is when I clicked on it accidentally trying to do something else. So yeah, this is uh, this is first 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 impressions for me. <clears throat> Gonna see what it is like. Shall be uh, a fun experience, which we'll start in uh, right now. Tees Valley Line. <clears throat> My throat has frogs in it. They're living in in there. They're being annoying. They won't leave. Despite all the the shit that I throw at them. Anyway. Tees Valley Line. Experience a bygone era of British Rail. Mmm. British Rail indeed. In the historic birthplace of railways. In the heart of the British steel industry. In Transome World. Tees Valley Line. Very, very British sounding. Lots of uh, smoke and stuff. It's definitely... Definitely the British era of industry. Industry is booming. Everything was run by coal. Lots of fun. <clears throat> right. Uh, let's 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 get after it. Okay. Uh, I'll just uh do the, 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 the tutorial since I got no clue what any of this is or how to how to do anything because we don't have these trains in America I don't know how they work they could they maybe maybe you have to clap your hands to turn it on I don't know Britain could be underwater and you, you need scuba gear to drive your train I don't know I know nothing about foreign trains I know they I drive on tracks like ours. That's about it. Actually, some foreign trains don't even drive on tracks. Well, they kind of drive on tracks, but like the tracks are different. You know what I'm saying? You get, you get me. You, you feel me, fam. What am I doing? <laughs> trying, trying to, trying to be hip with the cool kids. The cool kids have left. They're like, fuck this guy. Oh well, I tried. I tried, and that's all that counts. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. gonna load game. Community challenge beta. Conquer the scenarios. Oh yeah, you gotta do scenarios and stuff for the challenge. Good thing we're doing scenarios. All right. Welcome to these class thirty seven Ooh, hi. Five diesel electric locomotives. Yes. Oh. This brief introduction will go through the startup and stop procedures. Okay. The rear locomotive is already running with its tail lights on and its handbrake released. That's Final dangerous. The lead locomotive to get started. Okay. Should not release your handbrakes until a lot of time you're in control. Driving, so take a seat to continue. Wanna wanna naked? Oh, I was like, oh man, I have to drive this with no clothes on. I mean, I'm down for that. No smoking or naked lights in engine compartment. So, I gotta put clothes on the lights, I guess. Oh, the master key is used to activate the driver's controls. Well, it just it it kind of started on its own, so. Set the reverser as indicated. In it does not sound healthy. Is it gonna fucking blow up on me? Verser 2 engine only. Engine only. Go ahead and start the locomotive. Uh, with uh, that button. Nice! The handbrake holding the locomotive. Set the train brake as it Sounds like a fucking lawnmower or something. <laughs> train brake shut down. We want it running. <laughs> Reservoir will take a moment to charge. This can be observed by watching the brake dials. Set that dial. Or the, now use these the dials. To set the direction of travel. For the brakes, yeah. Okay. Uh, forward. 
flight and a head code are important. Yeah, sorry to cut you off, but yeah. It's too much of light. On. It's What's over here? Set the handbrake as indicated. Oh, this is interesting. They've they've changed how you do handbrakes. You used to just click on it. Now you actually have to like hold it. Squeak, 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 squeak. Some uh, very entertaining handbrake releasing you're seeing here. I think I prefer just clicking on it. I don't. Want, I don't want to have to suck and sit there and hold that for half an hour. <clears throat> Throttle on. Well, hey, we're moving. Are we lined out? Yes. Uh, should we close the door, game? I'm gonna. I can't close the door. All right. I guess we just uh, don't have to have doors closed. Apparently. Um. Sure. Off we trot. It's a lot of wheels. Gonna pop a wheelie. Ooh, what's over there? Oh, is that the fuel stand? Uh, oh, I see. Alright, I'm speeding, but whatevs. Make use of the brakes and throttle controls to manage the train and prevent over speeding. Alright, first application. Let's slow it down a bit so we're going the right speed. Overcharge? Ooh. Is that like uh, the bail off feature that we have? Maybe. With crossing! Hit the, the, uh, uh, the horn. I can't hit the horn. Uh, yes. Slow it down. S slow down faster. Slow down a bit. Okay, not, not that fast. That should be good. A little harder than brakes. Ah! Fucking... I, I cannot stand these markers. I have to be like sitting directly on top of them. I'm close enough. You fucking th annoying thing. All right, nailed it. Good work. That concludes all the basics of this locomotive. That was really easy. I think we nailed it. Ah, I almost got it. Easy mission summary. We have we've done the thing for for T's Valley Line. We're we're level two with the with that. Next, we're gonna learn all the trains. We're gonna we're gonna be the master of these trains. We're gonna we're gonna master it like it was uh, a child. Yes, we're gonna master it like it was a a child, we were the teacher, and the, the, the locomotive was our student. And this, no. Yes? I'm confused. Made sense before I started speaking bullshit. Oh, it's raining. Ooh, what the fuck? Welcome to this what is this? Three car diesel mechanical multiple unit in British rail blue and grey livery. Ooh. This brief introduction will cover startup, stopping, and passenger operations. This train's ugly as fuck. Before getting started, some of the controls must be set in the rear cab. Head over and climb aboard. Alright. Hey, people. Nice trench coat. Alright, anyway, uh, as we were. What do we got? Red lights are used to signify that this is the rear of the operational train. Red. Red. While Nothing the brakes else. in the lead vehicle hold the train, set this brake as indicated. 
Okay, that wasn't so bad. Releasing that one because it everything's now set up. Didn't take so five head years. To the, front of the train to continue preparations. Nice. Oh, it wanna be a. Okay, fine. We'll do that then. Uh, hey, I didn't let you people on. You fucking teleporting thought. Get off. Get. Go. You're not allowed on yet. Fuck off. God damn it. Beat his ass with a fire extinguisher. Come on, navigate, navigate the, the, the doorway, you can do it. We made it! Not quite. Made it! When All ready, right. sit in the driver's desk. I'm not ready, why did I sit down? The control circuit key is used to activate the driver's desk. Okay. White lights will indicate to anyone around that this is the front of the operational train. Set the throttle to full. Throttle is full. This train features two engines in each driving vehicle. Start the engines in this vehicle. Alright. Oh, we gotta hold it. Ah, uh, sup man? Is this game on PS4? I think now it is, actually. Train Some World is on PS4. Uh, I don't know about this route. I think this route is on PS4. Hang on, I'll have a, I'll have a, I'll have a quick Google for ya. Yes, it is. It is yes, it is on PS4. Engine start right. We got two engines. We got a right engine and a left engine apparently. Give a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe, then unlock the doors. I don't think it's safe. This woman's definitely on some sort of drugs. She's she's not looking too hot. She's looking kind of maybe even possessed. Uh, <laughs> I don't feel I don't feel safe. How do how do I how do I unlock the doors? Is it? Do I have to do this manually? Game? Where is... where is... where... Start, stop... Destination... sit in this seat I don't see I don't see anything for uh, for letting the people in how do I is it is it the tab thing yes it is this is oh, I fucking hate having to do this but unlock left yeah yeah I got it you gotta press tab because reasons Nailed it. Uh, window wipers? Window wipers? Uh, somewhere, probably, I assume. Nice! <laughs> uh, let's throttle. Um, panel light. Ooh! Engine RPM changeover switch. Uh, I feel like if I push that, things are gonna go wrong. I like it. Uh, lock the doors. Lock left. Now use the reverser to set the direction of travel. You want to go forward. It's time to move. Set the handbrake as indicated. Released. 
This train features a gear system similar to cars on the road. Oh god. To attain higher speeds, the active gear must be increased at the appropriate time. When accelerating and the RPM dial has reached the top of the yellow zone, it is appropriate to change up a gear. That yellow zone there, hey? Alright. Gear 1. The brakes on this train act like a water tap. The higher the setting, the faster the train will stop. Open the valve to select the desired pressure, then close it again to maintain that pressure. That is so confusing. Who designed this train? This is fucking ridiculous. Um. Oh, fully released. Fully release. I set it to release. It is set to release. Okay, done. Nice. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. It's important to provide a smooth ride for passengers. Fuck them! <laughs> Alright, let's not do that. Increase to 15. Alright. I should really find the window wipers. They're probably... Uh... Uh... I don't know. It's appropriate to change a gear now, right? Alright, well, we're at 15. Should I change up a gear or just kind of hold it there or what? I can't click on anything else, so we'll just. Alright. The process of changing gear has several steps. Of course it does. Set the throttle to idle and allow the engine RPM to reduce below the yellow zone. Engage the new gear, then return to the desired throttle application. Let's try. This is gonna go great. Idle. Two. Observe that the train now has the ability to accelerate to a higher speed. When the RPM Yay. dial reaches the top of the yellow zone, repeat the gear change process to continue accelerating. Sure. This is the dumbest train setup I have ever experienced in my life. Someone was like, hey, you know the complications of changing a gears on a highway? Let's add that to a train. Fucking dumb. <laughs> uh, idle. Th whoops, too far. Uh, three. There's a short distance between here and the next stop, so be sure to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. Alright. Use the throttle and... cruise at a constant speed, the highest gear should be engaged. This reduces the speed the engine operates at and is fuel efficient. To cruise at a con... Uh, sure. Um... I think I broke it. When I actually use the arrow keys and so yeah, I know how to I know how to look around. I played this game before. Well, this clearly doesn't do anything, so that was entirely useless. Then gear up. Then put that thing. Oh, wait, we gotta stop at the station. Okay, never mind, get rid of that. Uh, apply some breakage. Okay, now we're not going fast enough. Release everything. Uh, go to one, I guess. They're just kind of chilling. 700 yards. It's like way down there. Keep going. Oh, I found the wipers. Yay! I'm a professional. 
Oh, that's 15 per. Why was I thinking the station was there? Am I high? Maybe. It would make sense. Stopping a train in the right place is the greatest skill of a driver. No, it's it may not. take a few attempts to get it right. I've stopped many times, it's easy. Well, I've stopped many times using a belt pack. I haven't actually driven a real train. Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm a real driver as far as you're concerned. Uh, yes. Gear selected to four. Ah, uh, that's neutral. Four. Four. Four is a swear word. The brake control on this train opens a vacuum, releasing pressure holding the brakes off the wheels. To maintain a specific pressure, close this valve by setting the handle to the lapped position. I uh, lap. It is lapping. It has been lapped. Aim to be doing no more than 15 miles per hour when the train reaches the platform. Then come to a stop anywhere alongside. Easy. Can do. Ooh wee. We're going left or right? Going right. All right, we we're doing 15. Oh, we're doing a bit more than 15. Start applying a small amount of brake force now to achieve a comfortable stop. You fuck. Let's not let's not hit the end of the thing. Good enough. Nail it. <laughs> I got scared, I'll be honest. Neutral. Unlock well the done. doors. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. Good work. That's the basics. Is the whole train in the and platform released? The whole train's in the platform. It doesn't matter that I stopped short. Alright. We have successfully driven a shitty train. Uh, next tutorial, I guess. Next. Um, yeah, that was, that was, that was something. That was quite the train. I don't, Welcome I don't know why you want to do electric shunting locomotive in BL What is this? Blue livery. this what is this thing? Will go through the start it's and uglier than the last train. <laughs> oh my god. Britain, you have some ugly trains. Just saying. Uh, what is this? Before entering the locomotive, the battery isolation switches need setting. Start with the left side. Uh, yeah? Oh, I gotta open this. Oh, I like that. The fact that you actually have to... Anyway, um, have you spatted yet? Wouldn't surprise me. No, I have not. I'm only in the tutorials, but it will happen eventually. Nice! We're shutting up an ugly locomotive. Come on. Yep, I heard you the first time. Enter the cab and continue preparing. Okay, so we don't even need this guy to tell us what to do. We know what we're doing. Locomotive is operational. Marker lights. Marker lights. What about those two? A lot of time will be spent driving, so take a seat to continue. If I have to. Go ahead and start the locomotive. It's quite the quite the operation we have here. I hope that's not forward. If that's forward, I'm gonna cry. If that's forward, I'll be happy. This is like this is this is kind of like those um, those really old switcher units that we used to have. On, start, start, start. All right, start. What? Oh, we gotta hold it. Lamal. Now that the engine is running, the master switch needs to be set. All right. Uh, now we can switch it on. Okay. The main reservoir will take a moment to charge. This can be observed by watching the brake dials. 
You never point out to me where the brake dials are. Ensure that nothing moves while preparations continue. Adjust the locomotive brake accordingly. Emergency. The Interesting setup here. Holding the train, so the rest of the brakes can be released. Some, yeah, quite the. Uh, Browsing kind of an error while decoding video. Did did Twitch die? What? Or my laptop just fuck off? Okay, it's still going. Okay, we're good. We're good. I thought everything went wrong for a second. I was gonna cry. Train break. Uh, wait, didn't we just? What? So what's the this then? Is used to set the direction of travel. Yeah, but what? Track alignment plays a large role when maneuvering around a yard. Oh, this is forward. Fuck! I want to go that way. I can see that way. I don't want to go this way. I have to. How do I get out? I'll do this like this because I'm lazy. It's time to move. Oh, this is the independent break, and that's the train break. Okay. I get it. I get it. I see. the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power. With the train now moving, it's possible to apply more power and focus on achieving a desired speed. Oh, this isn't even notched either. It's just do what you want, kind of thing. I assume you want to hit 15 games that you want from us. This thing's rattly as fuck. Coasting is a method used. Yeah, I know. Make use of the brakes and throttle controls to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. Yep. You start to get the gist. Hang on a second. I look at this. What is this? What is this? What is this? Dovetail! What are you doing? Oh, this hurts so much to see. Ugh. I had high hopes. Now you've disappointed me. It was all going so well, and then, uh, then we saw that. That's a red light. Ooh, what's down here? Ugly water? Mm, let's look at the oil spill that is the water in this game. Yeah, the crossing looks pretty bad. So does this water. Mm, glorious, glorious water. Uh, where are we even going? Just, just following the, following the tracks. can't click the thing, I'm sad. What does this do? I don't know. What does this do? I don't know. I want to be able to click the things, game. You're over speeding, apply some brakes. Yeah, but sure. We're not speeding. Silly game. Can I do all this from this side too? Oh, I can as well. Approaching the stop marker, apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable stop. That's a small amount, right? Ooh, that's a lot. Calm down. Alright, independent brakes, really powerful. Should be fine-ish, maybe? Stop right on the thing. I did not overshoot it, Good game. Luck. That concludes all the basics. Quit lying to me. Did it restart? Hello? I think it actually just restarted on me. Oh my god. Why am What is this? What? 
I'm outside of the cab. Someone help. <laughs> help, I'm outside of the cab. Stop the train, everything's gone wrong. This is so... Oh, all the yardages are off now too. Oh God, I've broken the game. I've broken it, I've broken it. Just, just stop, that's all we need. Help! That concludes all the basic oh, there we go. Locomotive. I fixed it. I had to stand up. <laughs> wow! That was a thing that happened. Quality. Perfect. Perfecto. El Gandhi! Thanks for the follow, my guy. This was, uh... Yeah. That, that happened. So, uh, this shunter thing, uh, let's not drive it anytime soon. <laughs> let's play a scenario <laughs> and hope we don't have to play with one of those. I've never had that happen before in any other, uh, locomotive. So that was, that was interesting. That was an experience and a half. Let me, let me tell ya. Ooh, bridge. That's like quite the structure. Mmm, ground textures. There we go, they're back. Welcome to Lacken, Lacken, Lacken by, Lacken B, Steelworks, waiting in the sidings at, at, uh, that service. Alright. Got, we got trains and stuff. Ooh. Yes. Interesting things. Can we? You can actually like use the angle cocks. I'm amazed. Anything else? Oh, we can do that as well. Oh, it's fully functional. I'm happy. Wait, how about rail cars? Hang on, I can't. Well, now I've done that. That's not what I meant to do. I wanna. Can I? Can I? Yeah, where's, where's the end? Let's see. Oh, the ones on the cars don't seem to work. That's a shame. I was hoping to actually have to, like, when I couple on, I couldn't do cars and shit. Ooh! Train! Slowest death in a movie ever. Stop! Stop! In the name of the law! Um... <laughs> I was- I wasn't- I was- I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. <laughs> Alright, let's- Oh, fuck. Oh, uh... I tried to move out of the way, and it's gone horribly wrong. Uh-oh. Um... Uh... Uh-oh. And now he stopped. Shit. Uh, this is, this is, this is, this is not, not what I meant. Uh, let's restart. Because I fucked around and kind of broke it. Let's not stand in front of trains. Don't stand in front of trains, kids, because you get stuck inside of them. Alright, let's actually follow the rules this time. And not, you know, uh, get crushed by a train. Oh, hello. Hi. Wow, you actually look amazing for a uh, model. Like your eyes and stuff are moving and you're blinking. I never thought we'd ever reach this level. As for, as, as for, like, I never thought Transom World would ever get to this point, but here we are with a model that's actually looking around and blinking and stuff. Next step, getting her ponytail to not clip through her shoulder. Uh, you wanna, can I, what is with me not being able to close the door? Game? 
Whatever. We'll we'll do the we'll do the thing. Can I close it now? You just can't close doors on this game apparently, or this locomotive. Can I? I can't. I can open it, but I can't close it. Dovetail your locomotive's broken. Hello? All right, I give up. Uh, master key. That's the throttle. Master key. Master. Ma is it this one? Uh, master key. There it is. On. I know I just took a tutorial. Whatever. Reverser to forward. Uh, set that to running. Uh, set that to nothing. Uh, wipers. Headlights. Those will be helpful. Sander. Don't need that. Slow speed control. Don't need that. Engine stop. Don't need that. Uh, slave loco. Britain still has slaves. Hello, this is 2019. Throttle on. Throttle. Throttle on. Yes. Uh, nose compartment light. Sure. Cab heater. Yes. Got to have the cab heater on because we've left the door open for some reason. Wait, I can close it now. Yay! I can close the doors. Hang on. No, oh, can't close this one yet. Never mind. Go via South Bank. Where's that? That's over this way, apparently. Grab our switch. Grab that one too. Don't know if uh, Britain is technologically advanced enough to have run through switches. Um, sun visor. I like it. Also that frame rate. Ow. What is causing that? That's not. Oh, uh, is it the rain? I don't know. Window wipers, 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 wipers. Um. Hey, are there wipers on your side? Well, that looks like a wiper. That's a manual wiper. All right. Uh, is there an automatic one? There we go. Nice. We don't need that fast. Calm down. Don't need that slow. Calm up. There we go. We're speeding. Stop. Uh, uh, first application. Let's just slow down a bit. Hey, there goes one of those shitty trains with the gears and stuff. This is like that scene in Wanted where he has to grab that thing that's moving. Can't do it. Uh, now we're slowing down again. Throttle up, come on, let's, let's get, get going. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Twenty percent throttle. Get moving. Come on, temper. Who needs that? Let's drive trains and stuff. Green light. I like it. Why do these locomotives sound like a freaking biplane? Ooh, hang on. Some nice uh, squealing on the rails. Somewhat reasonably kind of enjoyable sounds there. Why are there dinner plates on the side of the cars? Britain is so weird. Anyway. So, 
How's it going? Your, uh... Your legs seem to be having some issues there. Just saying. Traffic! Buses and things. What do you say? High Street 6A. Interesting. How much detail have I actually put into these cars? I don't know, I can't actually keep up with it. Hang on. Eh! Ugh. They look like they're... You know, the wheel's actually moving. Hang on. I can't see because it's going so fast. The wheels are actually turning! Guys! The wheels turn on vehicles! The wheels on the bus go round and round! This is a technology, new technology. I'm going super f slow. Speed up. Someone honking at me. Alright. I've gained appreciation. What? You gonna, you gonna, you gonna drive? Come on. Pitter-patter, let's get at her. I know you're carrying literal steel, that's fine. Get after it. Your knees are clipping the handbrake, ma'am. You might want to get that checked. There's something oddly comedic about the cars in the game being better than <laughs> the, uh, the actual train. Well... If she wasn't here, it would be much better, but just because she's here, clipping with her knees in the steering wheel... Steering wheel, handbrake, same thing. Uh, she's, she's ruining it. Madam, you're ruining the moment. It's all your fault, this game sucks. This game doesn't suck, but it could be better if you weren't here. Uh... Is the track not loading in, or is it just ending? I think it just ends, okay. I was concerned for a second there. Let's have a gander at things. What do we got? Oh, I can I not go over here? I'm not allowed to go look at the thing. Invisible wall. Why do you do? Why why was you forsaken me? It's because this stupid fence. Oh. Come on. No, there's just some giant invisible wall that's being an asshole. Ugh! Disappointed. Come on, you can pull it up the hill. Believe in yourself. You think you can. You just don't know it. We're almost there, I think. I think we're reaching the crest of the hill. Can I like close the door yet? Or is it just forever stuck open? Oh. Thought I saw it. Unless it's something behind the door. Hello? You wanna, you wanna... No. That door is just forever open. Alright, we've crested the hill. Let's turn that off. We're gonna need some hella brakes soon. We're gonna need, gonna need to s step on, step on the thing. The rain does not wipe off the window when you... Let's put it down. Another thing we've learned. So many unnecessary details, but if those details were acknowledged, this game would be really great. Sorry, your, your train's not coming. It's, it's not... I closed the door! So I can't, hang on, hang on. What? 
Wait a minute. Why do I have to... You don't have to click... You do, okay. We're not even going to talk about that. I'm just going to ignore that existence. Lights. Red. It's not for us, though. We can now go 20 per. Speed her up, bud. Where are we even going? We're going there. Stop there, maybe. Now let's go via. So we're going via there, and then somewhere else. How big is this map? Ooh, it's actually quite the uh, quite the funkadelic setup here. I really want to go industry switching. I hope that's a thing that happens at some point. And this is the end of the route. Oh hey, this is where we did the tutorial. How about that? What about over here? What's this what's this crazy thing? What are you? What is this? That's a yard. It's got trains in it. Ooh, possible turntable. Uh fuel. That's where they had the other turn the the tutorial. There's a Y. There's more stuff. It's quite the route. I like it. I hope we get to play with it more. I'm speeding massively. Let's slow down. Let's just slow down to 25 because the speed limit picks up at some point. And we're off. It's not a turntable anymore, it just remains. Oh, it's sadness. Thanks, Alex. You've given me depression. I'm kidding, Alex. You're fine. Actually, turntable was long gone in 1989. Shame. Is the, uh, is the, uh... What's it called? Roundhouse! Is the roundhouse still there, at least? Or is it just empty tracks now? Or was there even a roundhouse to begin with? Questions for your mind. Perfect. Can we turn the light off? Is this forever on. Oh, what was that I could click on? Cab change and le lever. Okay. Beep beep. Oh, there it is. Yeah! Horns. That's a horn. Actually, one I always hear is low to high. I don't know why they do that. I don't know what it means. Don't really care. Scrapyard, I think. Yeah. Mmm, scrap. Um. Are you seriously not gonna let me look at the stat cars? That are f floating inside of each other. <laughs> okay, 110% that was on purpose, but it looks terrible. Definitely done on purpose, but it, yeah. Also, the bare and empty landscape looks kind of oof. You need to you need to have the grass there. You can't just not have it. Otherwise, it just it looks so terrible without. Even like having something that's not just this flat, ugly texture. Ugh. Although that, maybe that's why it doesn't have grass there, just cause, um... Full throttle! Cause the speed limit picked up. Uh, just cause the grass doesn't seem to render more than five feet away. They, they need to figure out some sort of way to make the transition between having grass and no grass less ugly. Like, it's so glaringly obvious, the difference between having grass and no grass, 
that it just looks awful and it, it's a it's a real eyesore you need to have what they need to have is some sort of like low poly grass that doesn't like eat up your frames but still exists from a distance away so then you can blatantly see oh there's grass way over by that fence there but it's not you know eating up your frames I get why they don't have it because like this grass alone if you put this grass absolutely everywhere it would probably kill you or not kill you but kill your computer with its current state that's why it only renders five feet away but because of that it, it looks it doesn't look good so that's that's something that I think they need to work on Horn! Crossing! Uh, 15 per limit. It's fine. Nothing happened. We're alive. Just think, if you go through the 15 per limit faster, you're in the 15 per limit for less amount of time, so it doesn't matter. Easy. See, it's like it was never there, almost. Maybe. Our train is long, apparently. It's not that long, is it? Nope, it's just 15 forever now. Oh well. I definitely saw it say 60. I think I've broken the game. Go via middle Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough? Bro. Bro? 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 Bri? Bri? Bri Larson? I don't know. Green! Probably for me, probably not. I don't know. I definitely saw it say 60, but it still says it's 15. I don't understand. We're just gonna keep going at 50 per. It's fine. We haven't derailed yet, so clearly, clearly it's good for 50. Otherwise, I would have derailed if it was only good for 15. Duh. I'm also glad the wipers actually work. Does anyone remember when we were driving that train where the wiper would always stop in the middle and it just wouldn't work anymore? Unless you did something with the... unless you hit a button or something like that. Those were the good old days. Train! What are you carrying? What is this? Coal? That's really loud! Hang on. Let me turn that down. I mean, trains are loud, but like, you know. There we go. What is that horn? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Damn, that's actually really cool. Yeah! 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 Alright, I'm bored. Oh? Hello? Game? I just wanted to go back to my train. Hello? What's going on? Oof! That's a red light. Am I about to... Nope. But uh, either way, I'm going to slow down. Wow, that, uh, that load screen hurt. I have no clue why that's a thing. 
35 per 1.1 miles. We'll slow down for that. Yeah, that, uh, I do not appreciate the load screen going from that to my train. I don't even, no, my train wasn't even that far away. Where's, where was, where was that bridge? Where am I? I'm right there. Bridge was like, I don't know, somewhere. I can see the load screen, like, if my train was across the map. But going just from, from there to there hurts. Green light, probably f not for me. Alright, we're down to 35, good enough. Oh, the turntable's to my right, is it? Uh, let's have a gander. And all I see, interesting. Ah, this isn't a turntable, mate. It's just a uh, swimming pool. I've just uh, emptied it for the night. It's a true story. <laughs> that's where that's where all the, the all the trains go swimming after after a long day of work. They get in their bathing suits, go for a dive, go for a swim. It's quite a sight to see, let me tell ya. Thirty-five! We can speed up. Maybe that entire stretch was 15 and I'm just massively speeding. Whoops. Do you want your window wiper on so you can see? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll turn it on for you. There you go. You can never go nice and slow. More cars, doing car things. Oi! Wanker with the blue car! Mate! Bruv! Fucking twat! He can't hear me. Green. Clear. Whatever the Brits call it. Probably clear. 25 doesn't apply to us the 50 does though I like that it's a squeaky throttle grass is painful that is really a source site If I make a route, I'm gonna put grass everywhere, and it's gonna make everyone's computer bleed out of its eyes. Like, I don't see how they couldn't make a fade like it is now. You can see how like it, it kind of fades into full detail, but instead of just disappearing, it instead fades into like a less low detail, low poly grass that's like not as hard on the machine. So you still see it. It just, and it, it should transition nicely so like you don't really notice the difference between the high poly and low poly stuff. And then that will make like distant scenery look less shit. You could do the same thing with bushes and trees and then your distant hills will look less than bare too. You could really, you could like massively improve like things in the distance by doing that. Yellow signal. 
Next one means stop, theoretically. Oh, it's a double yellow, so next next one means stop. I think. I hope. Theoretically speaking. But yeah, I'd, I'd, I would love it if, like, the field there had something in it. Not just, like, a plain, empty grass texture like this. It's like, that's... That you don't you don't want to see that. You want to see this, but at a distance, right? You feel me? You get my you get my drift, fam. Single yellow. All right, let's expect expect a red. Next. So we should probably be slowing down. I have to go thirty in a moment anyway. Or maybe it's like a diverging indication. I probably like I probably gotta be prepared to stop, and then it's gonna be like an indication that I'm turning, turning off from the main route. What are those those uh, those lights? Those white lights that go off on an angle like uh, these? Oh, I gotta stop. So yeah, I'm not turning at all. I'm stopping. It is a red light. See, I know my signals. My British signals. Not too too different from ours. Well, they're like basic. They're very basic signals. Trajectory indicators or feathers. Yes. Feathers. I've heard that before. Feathers. Thank you, Alex. People are gonna get on our train, that's what this is. They're gonna they're gonna get on our steel train. Or maybe they're gonna steal the steel. No? Alright, never mind. <laughs> Alright, train slows down fairly good despite carrying however much that steel weighs. Uh, train, train break? I don't know. We're actually going pretty slow already. I could just. Yeah, local break will be fine, I'm sure. Third class accommodation is available on the server. <laughs> Umbrellas are not provided. Exactly, see? You know, there's room for them to climb on board. You know, you can, uh... See? A person could easily fit in there. They'd be safe from the elements-ish. It's fine. Get on! I'm not stopping either. You'll have to get on. Just jump. Jump! Okay, fine. Be that way. I might actually stop before this. Speed up a bit. Don't don't stall. Pitter patter. And now. Nailed it. I thought I was clicking this one and not this one. But it's fine! Yarm Viaduct is currently undergoing structural inspection, so all services south are being diverted via Darlington. Alright. Uh. Yeah, brakes are all doing their thing, it's fine. I totally plugged it on purpose. Don't look at me like that. I'm gonna wait for the hissing to stop. Uh, just fix your wiper a bit. There you go. There you go. Are we good? I think we're good. If we don't start moving soon, I'll be concerned. We're good.
Feather! For going right. Yes, going that way. Interesting. What is this? Is this a mile board? Mile 57? That would make sense. Ooh. Let's do some screenshots. Get some screenshot value going on. Get the flowers in there, bushes. Get rid of the HUD. Get that nice warm glow of the cab light in the rain. So look great. That may or may not look nice, I don't know. Right, Darlington Goods Loop. Is that where we're going? Oh, I see why you're diverting services. Cause they don't ex- the route doesn't exist down here. Y'all can't fool me. Y yeah. Lies. Ooh. Somebody got some grease on that ballast. Oh, these empty fields hurt. Alright, what's... here? What is the point of this? Just... ran up on his track. I hear goats and sheep, but I don't see any. Dad? Is that you? Ooh, I want to see. I hear more sheep. I want to see if the gates actually open or close or whatever they do. And then they go up. Because so far, Heavy Hall is the only one that actually had functional gates. So we're going to see. We're going to see if they've been fixed. Or if they're just still objects, which they probably are. Are there sheep in the camper or something? Hello? Alright, I don't think the gates actually work. For shame. Although I do appreciate the crossing. It looks big, kind of, not quite big improvement from uh, that garbage we saw in the yard. Okay, I'm going to conclude that the gates do not open. That's a red light. Oh, fuck. Soak it! Well, piss. Never mind. Uh, red light does not affect me. Maybe not. Hang on a fucking second here. That look that looks red. Or it did look red. Is it off now? I'm so confused. See, that's... That's red! That's exactly what it was. Yet I can go buy it for some reason. What? Game? What the ass? Are there any more? Here's some. Can I go buy these? Even though they're red? I don't understand. Britain, what the fuck are up with your signals? Alright, well I've plugged it twice. I got no no clue. Those are for shunting moves, I think. Well okay. 
Well, I can definitely go now because my train's rolling backwards. Calm down with your weasel, weasel slip. I know what I'm doing. Okay, maybe not that high of a throttle. Britain's signals make no sense. I'm just gonna ignore all red lights from now on. <laughs> that's that's my decision. Again with no naked lights. These trains have something against nudity, I've decided. Alright, we should be good to throttle up more. Ah, uh, big stretch. Right. Um, that's loud. Let's not have loud noises. I like my peace and serenity. Let's go explore over here. More cars. LMC 1985 WSR 302V GWE 287T You can just hear the distance from a, or the the distance from. You can hear the train from a good distance away, and I like it. What I don't like is me not being able to literally just fly over there and have a look at things. I don't like your invisible walls game. This is this 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 is not fun. Eh, I can't. I did it! I broke the the wall. Yeah, I'm free. Mmm, distant trees. So you can see trees and stuff in the distance, and the bushes. They they just don't do grass. Actually. You can actually see the trees from a pretty good distance, actually. See, that looks nice. That looks good. You just need the grass to give the ground more of a pop. So it looks doesn't look so flat and ugly. Because, like, just looking at this flat, bare texture is ugly. I mean, you get close, and there's obviously there's some detail in it. But it just doesn't work from a distance. There's just an insistent sheep following me around. Also more like this, more stuff like this, more like changes in the in the detail. Obviously with fields you don't see like spots of different shades of green, but for uh, mountains and untamed lands and such even just the difference between fields, like I know like not every field is the same ugly dark shade of green. You're gonna see some light stuff, you're gonna see some browns and yellows, you know. Where's where the fuck's the train gone? I've lost now. There it is. And con constructive criticisms. Not uh, I'm not not being rude. Not trying to be rude, anyway. Clickety clack, clickety clack. I want this game to be good, and above above all, look look and feel stunning. Like, it feels good. Trains are detailed, but I think the net the thing now is just getting that distant stuff looking good too. 
you could you could create an absolutely amazing en environment with this if you really wanted to I genuinely thought there was like a bus or something on the tracks I was so confused for a second that's how ugly your trains are you look like buses piece of shit Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, clickety-clack. I don't know. What are your thoughts, Twitch? Am I just rambling off onto a bunch of nonsense? Whoops, why am I in the voice chat? Hello. I think I clicked on a Discord voice chat by opposite for on... <laughs> Do you think those look like buses? Have you seen what paces look like? I have seen paces. Every freaking Wednesday in the Discord. <laughs> it's also an Indiana, Indian, uh, Indiana basketball team. Indianapolis, Indiana, yes. The Indiana Pacers. I only know that because I literally just looked it up trying to find pictures of Pacers. Let's try a Pacer train. That might help. Yeah. Isn't that what's actually on the route? Because these look like the trains on the route. They look ugly as fuck. Are they all submitted to bus parts? What, the basketball team? Probably. Uh, I gotta slow down. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, brakes. Don't soak it this time. Just... One thing at a time. Yeah, paces are ugly as fuck. Disgusting. Alright, now you're slowing down too much. I need to pay attention more. Stop. Interneting. Are we there yet? Three miles. Uh, we've pretty much driven the whole route now, haven't we? Almost. We've gotta stop there. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. People! Hi. Sucks you gotta sit in the rain. Clear. Ooh. I'm a squirrel now. Mm. How do the lights look? Very, very light like. Na D nine four nine A Sheep Some quality looking sheep. Right. Pay attention. Sixty per Max throttle. Let's go. Let's get there on time. We got stuff to do. More ugly water. The water hurts as well. Like, 
some of the stuff you look at in these new routes, it feels so backwards from where we started with Heavy Hull. Like, the water looked alright in Heavy Hull. It had that light blue color feel to it. The water now just looks like ugly, slimy sludge. And the gates don't operate like they used to. They just, they're just dull, stuck assets. And to be honest, like, I'm pretty sure, like, half these things they've changed for the sake of, um, uh, FPS improvements and stuff. But literally, I've not noticed any difference between playing this and playing Heavy Hull. Heavy Hull runs absolutely fine. And yet they've done all these things to, quote, make the game run better, unquote. I don't believe it for one second, unless they've done it for a completely different reason. But I can't think of any other reason why you would reduce the quality that you had in the very first route of the game. I don't get it. I don't understand. I really hope we start seeing it uh, improve. They also have much less time nowadays to build a route. There's that as well. I would much I would take a route every six months versus a route every three months. If that meant having the route being drastically improved. Did they say they had two different teams working on a route, like two different routes at the same time? And then like whichever one was ready was uh, the one that came out or something like that? So that was why we didn't get the American route, because I guess the American one's not finished yet, or something. So, like, if you think they got two teams, two separate teams working on two separate routes at the same time, and you had one route done every six months, that would mean each team gets literally a full year, that's a yellow light, a full year to work on a route. That is a lot of time to put the route together. A lot more than they have now, which is what, probably like five months they spend on a route? Five, six months they spend on a route? I think that would be so much better and the, the, the quality would 110% go up to something that's more enjoyable. Dovetail, listen to me. You, you, you can, you can make things better. You can improve it for yourselves. Just anyone who's complains about the lack of content, tell them to fuck off. Let them do your thing. Spend the time it takes to make something decent. EA games that make millions, Rockstar's games, uh, Red Dead Two. That did not. That was not made in six months. That, was, that took years, years to make, and it's a stunning environment, it's absolutely beautiful game, it's so much detail, you can do the same, just give yourself the time you need. In the end, no one's gonna give a shit if it took a bit longer, if it's worth it, if the if the quality is good, you know? I need, to be, I need to be going slower, I'm... Voice is cracking from ranting so much! Yes. Uh, if the, if if the extra time means better a better product overall, then take that extra time. Quality over quantity. Every day I will take quality over quantity. Don't feel pressured by the fucking five-year-olds that want something new every day. Those, the people that, okay, it's good 
to put pressure on a games company to improve it, to make things changing, change, make changes to the game and stuff like that. But you need to pick and choose your criticisms, what criticisms you follow and what ones you ignore, what advice you take, what advice you ignore, because not all advice is good. Not all, like, not all requests are good ideas. Not everyone knows what's best for a games company. The people that bitch and complain about the lack of content, uh, the people that probably demand multiplayer, multiplayer is not crucial to this game, you don't need it. Derailments are not crucial to this game, you don't need those either. Pick and choose what criticisms you listen to. Uh, you need to wait here for a path. Alright. I'm waiting. Oh, it's the end of the scenario. Yeah! We did it! Yes, that's my rant. Uh, however long that rant was, I have got no clue. But that was a rant. Right. Next scenario, I guess. I want to see if there's a service that does some switching. I want to do some switching. I want to do something. I was going to break into a song, and then I completely lost track of what song I was aiming for. Uh, let's see if there's a scenario first, a switching scenario. Coal hauler. Coal! We can do school stuff. Seaside summer special. Fuck that noise. Three becomes two. Steelworks shunting. Shunting sounds fun. Pilot duty at Lacken B Yards. Yak La Lacken B Steelworks. I don't know where I got yards from, but yeah. Uh, shunt steel wagons into the correct sidings ready for mainline freight service. Sure. Ooh, uh, stretch. That rant took a lot out of me. I'm tired now. I'm ready to go to sleep. Gotta work tomorrow. I'm on a yard shift tomorrow. 2.30 to however long. I assume it's an 8 hour shift. 8 hours? Yeah, that sounds about right. Oops. Don't drop the phone. I've missed a call, apparently. Well, oh well. Don't fucking phone me while I'm streaming. I don't think it's work. I shouldn't be called for work. I should have today off. If I'm being called for work, someone's gonna get stabbed. No, it's not. It's not work. It's all that counts. Right. Uh, climb on board and sit in the driver's seat. Oh, we're gonna get. Are we gonna glitch out of the train again? Let's not have that happen. I prefer to stay inside the train. Wait for the main res to charge. Where is it? Is it one of these? I don't know. You never pointed out to me which gauge is which. Fully release the handbrake. Uh, whoops. Game, can you, you wanna... Holy shit. Okay, go this way. There you go. There you go, you nailed it. Full service. Uh, set this to running. Set this to reverse, apparently. Release. And let's 
kill. Alright, where are we even going? There are empty stew wagons waiting at that siding. Collect them and deliver them to that other siding. Alright, we'll do. What wagons where? I don't know, just follow the thing. Uh, does Britain have run-through switches? I think I asked that now already. Someone who's nullable, null on the... I have a fat tongue. Someone who's knowledgeable, tell me if I can run through these switches, or if I have to do them manually. God, this logo is loud and clunky and useless. What a piece of shit. Doesn't even have headlights. Even our locomotives are better than this. That's saying something. Ooh, can I open the window? Handbrake. Ah. Yes, how do you do? Shaking hands with the wiper. Hang on, don't. Nice. Can't open that window, apparently. I can open the door. It's so loud and annoying. I hate that locomotive so much. It's ugly. Probably smells, too. This is what a tax dollars is going towards. Keeping this piece of shit running still. Ah, uh, stop at the location. Lacken B Grid Siding East Entry. I like the sounds. When I when I bitch about how loud and clunky this is. I'm just imitating a real driver. True story. Um, that's which is against us, so we're going to find out very soon if we're allowed to run through them or not. Alright, I think we can run through switches. Good. There's also some a really neat little detail. Since I beat the shit out of this train or this game already, let's uh, list off some of the nice things. The clickety clacking are like what you just heard there. That is at an actual rail joint. See, when you drive over, it actually goes click click click, like it should. Sure, these are correctly set. Done. Am I going the right way? Uh, I am now. Sweet. Uh, I want to go forward. For for this one. The uh, yeah, forward. Does this have a horn too? Where is where there it is? What a terrible horn.
right. I miss my American trains already. Britain, your trains are sad. What's even worse about this locomotive is I think it can only go like 20 per based on based on the size of this uh, speed thing on the HUD. Do this legit. All first person. Very sensitive stop. Probably didn't need that, but whatevs. Couple of these wagons, uh, pull it up so it touches the thing, climb down, grab the thing. Sweet! I gotta couple it manually, apparently. Because Britain also has not heard of couplers and knuckles and things. Bet they haven't even heard of two man crews either. Don't know how close I am, don't know how far I am. So I don't have a conductor to count me down. Well, I heard something happen, so I think we're good. And how is this, how does this, can't even see, hang on, I need the, I need the other camera. Let's look at these messy couplers that Brits have. Oh, it's not even coupled. Good enough? Okay, I, th I see now. So you like... Goes over and it hooks onto there. This one's the same thing, it's got a... It comes up and then... I guess you use that to adjust the slack. If you need to. I mean, I guess. I guess that couples them together, but why would you why would you want that? Hello? Our knuckles are or our couplers are so much better. Yes, I'm being that guy who's like, our things are better, but you know what? It's facts. I don't have to manually fucking couple it every time. I can just slam into the cars at less than four per and go. This you gotta like get out and fuck with it and if it's not long enough or too long you gotta like adjust it. And it's such a pain in the teeth. Unnecessary. Alright, back we go. See, I would prefer this to be forwards. I don't like having to only see, like, that side of my train. Going in the wrong direction? Am I? No, I gotta go here. I know where I'm going, mate. Fuck off. Judging me like I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, 
Ah, uh, never mind me. Yeah, I won't mind you. <laughs> you silly goose. Alright. Fake conductor, jump off! Woo! Alright. This is the fake conductor who's gonna be here to count me down the switch. Three cars, three to go. Alright, three. One more. Independence not doing so hot. a weird switch. Although I do appreciate the inclusion of the uh, all the important bits that make stuff happen. Having those rods really brings the life out. Uh, conductor. Is there even a thing to stand on? Do we stand on this? Do you stand on this? Oh, this is a handbrake! Oh, I see. I was I f I'm like, why are there dinner plates on these? I remember doing that earlier, but now I know it's because of the handbrake. I'm thinking you have to stand here to ride it, so we're going to do that. If I'm doing it wrong and I get killed and or fired, then oh well. Alright, where do we need to go? Uh, there, there... There, uh, change that one, that's good, alright. And we're off. <laughs> Ooh, crane. And it's moving as well. Good on you for having that. Look at him go doing crane things. What a guy. What a crane guy. He's playing Crane Sim World. Heh <laughs> heh. Are there any other trains around? Guess not. I'm gonna explore up here. See what's what over here. Kind of interested. I mean, I want to go exploring. See what's what. making this longer than it needs to be, probably because I'm screwing around so much. You know what happens if you want to use one of these tiny locomotives, and you gotta take it somewhere, somewhere else, and like, track speed is like 60 miles an hour. Do you just pull it along as dead weight at track speed, or do you have to go like 20 per because it's not able to go faster than that? So many questions! How does this work? I 
that's where we started, right? Yeah. Not supposed to go faster than 15 with that general locomotive. In real life, you break it if you do. Duly noted. I'm totally gonna go faster than that now. <laughs> Just thinking, like, what you have to do if you need to transport it somewhere. I'd rather just put it on a truck. Yeah, that's probably what they do. They put it on a truck and take it to where it needs to go. Because if it, if it breaks, if you go faster than 15, then it's probably not very good for going track speed. Oh, listen to those brake shoes squeal. I love it. Let's burn those brake shoes off. Hello? Game? You wanna... Are you serious right now? I'm on the thing. Let me let it count. It's just one thing I despise about this game. It's that you have to be dead on for it to work. First try. Now we uncouple the thing. Loaded ones. Oh, those would be fun. Alright, let's do this like a real switcher. Full throttle and full brake every time. That's how they that's how they do in real life, true story. I wonder if it, is it a British uh, rail rule to stop before coupling onto it? Cause we have certain circumstances where you're supposed to stop six to twelve feet before coupling onto certain equipment in certain scenarios. So I wonder if they have this a similar thing here, which is why they're making me stop. Or tying onto it. Not speeding, you're speeding. See, it doesn't even say I'm speeding. I will give it credit, this thing goes pretty good when it's light, light engine. Alright, burn in brake shoes. As far as I know, stopping before coupling up is indeed required by the rule book. Yeah, okay. I mean, it makes sense considering the crude coupler design. And then I think the rule's also two per or less. Considering, uh... Just from what I've seen from other games, they always say two per or less. Ooh, that might have been close enough. It's always close enough! Back this way. Can she do it? Maybe not. Game? Hello? Maybe 
we need to do the thing with the brakes. Maybe this one just can't pull loaded steel cars. Oh, there we go. I think I just had to do that thing with the air brakes to make them release properly. As it makes sense, you shouldn't have air while in an industry, and we are industry shunting. God, this locomotive is terrible. Britain, you need to invest in some good old SD40s. You might get your work done faster. Also probably apply handbrakes, but I've got no clue what the handbrake rules are, if there even are any. There might not be handbrake rules. That would, uh, in part, explain why there's never any handbrakes on on the American routes, because they just don't exist. but I am. I should order pizza! I want to order pizza. Someone... What pizza is there? I'm gonna order fucking pizza. That's a thing I should do. Pizza! In North Van. What, what do we got here? Lionsgate pizza? Al Barello Pizzeria, Andrea's Restaurant. Top 10 pizza places in North Vancouver. That sounds like a website for me. Scratch Kitten. Kit Kitten. <laughs> yes, kittens do scratch. I can't confirm. No. Scratch Kitchen. A whole, a whole five stars after 51 reviews. Damn, that is some high quality pizza. This one's got uh, four and a half stars after 401 reviews. That almost seems better just because it's had so many more reviews. Damn, lots of options to choose from. This is the benefits of living in a city, folks. You get heckin' good pizza. Ooh, Keanu Reeves is trending. Just had a glance at, glance at Twitter. Interesting. I don't care much about celebrities, but Keanu... He's good guy. He's good guy. Alright. Let's test the stopping distance with the independent brake. 50-50% with loaded steel. Barely anything. 100%. Doing it slowly but surely. Let's whack on a bit of a uh, bit of air. 
overshot it slightly, but fuck it, dude. Who cares? Alright, independent, useless. We need to go down here. Over to this yard. Every switch in the world is against me. There we go. Guess this is the yard for loaded stuff, and then this is the yard for unloaded stuff. That would make sense. Whoops, we are rolling backwards slightly. Stop it. Fuck's sakes. So to prevent rollback, we do this, let the throttle rev up a bit, then release the brake, give her some more throttle, and once we get moving, there we go. That's how you prevent rollback. The independent is your best friend when it comes to not rolling on a hill. Unless you got a super heavy, uh, heavy train. Super heavy train on a steep grade, then you kind of have to balance the uh, air brakes and the throttle. Depending on the size of your train, you'll probably want to um, use like use the throttle and then set or uh, release the air brakes and then use the throttle. And as the brakes are releasing, your engine will rev up. And uh, you should be good to go speeding. You should be good to go by the time your brakes are fully released. As for going downhill, uh, your option would be probably to use retainers, depending on the, how steep the grade is. Retainers uh, is... I don't know if... Britain trains have it because Britain trains just aren't heavy enough to warrant their use. But in North America, we have retainers on all of our freight cars, and depending on the setting you put the retainer on, it will hold a certain amount of air in the car so the brakes don't release fully. This allows you to control your train uh, as you make a as you descend steep grades. So there's some fun facts for you. I would absolutely love it if uh, the next American route had that feature, but I'm I'm remaining doubtful. I don't even know if they even modeled retainers on the current American stuff. I know they had bleed rods. I'd love to. If, uh, be able to bleed off cars. I like. I want to be able to cut them out and bleed them off. Stuff like that. I want anything you can play with on a freight car or a locomotive in real life. I want to be able to play with it in TSW. If Dovetail doesn't do it, I'm gonna do it. That's that's the goal. That's the relationship goal here. I suck at modeling stuff, so I'll probably have to pay someone to do it. But it's gonna happen. Hundred and ten percent. Are we there yet? I've gone the wrong way. Oh my god. I'm like, hang on. We should be going somewhere we're not, but now I fucked it. Literally oh fuck. You know what? I forgot to change the switch here, so I've just <laughs> I've literally gone back to where I came from. Oh my god, I'm retarded. <sighs> this is why we can't have nice things. As we were.
Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to order pizza. What do we got? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this one with uh, the 400 reviews. Nickley Antica Pizzeria. Open now. Closes at 12 a.m. Damn. Four and a half stars out of four and one reviews. Certificate of Excellence from 2015 to 2019. Damn, that's like a long time. Um. Lots of stuff. Let's have a gander here, Twitch. Let's see what we got. Food, traditional, contemporary. Uh, where's the pizza? Margarita. Maybe? Mariana? Uh, I don't know what any of this is. I don't know that I don't think they do uh I don't think they um uh will send uh stuff. Ooh, there were six reviews that said it was terrible. Unfortunate. Unfortunate but a lot that said it was good, so I don't know. Maybe those people just have shit taste in pizza. I don't know. I was also skip the dishes. I completely forgot that I got that app. Skip the dishes. I should do that thing. I got uh, I got to skip the dishes when I was in Winnipeg because I was too scared to leave my hotel room. So yeah, I've got that. I have that thing. Where is it? Where is skip lay dish shots? Do I have it still? I don't think I do. Did I uninstall it like an idiot? Not realizing I'd one day live in Vancouver? Oh, I still have it. It's just not on my uh, main screen. Ah, our train has almost got back to where it started. Let's actually throw this switch this time. Sweet. We should now be going the right way. Oh, fucking come on. Oh, I haven't. I do this for a living. I just want to point that out. Stop the train. Burn those brake shoes. Go the right direction.
Come on. Is it because, um... Maybe because I tried to go when it wasn't, when it was facing the wrong way. There we go. Full throttle! Get after it! Uh, I've broken it now. <sighs> okay. Are the brakes released or something? I don't know what any of the gauges mean. We're just gonna... Okay, we're going now. Sweet! Alright, we've only wasted like an hour because we went the wrong way, but now we're back on track. Pun intended. Back to ordering pizza off of Skip the Dishes. By the way, this stream is sponsored by Skip the Dishes. True story. What kind of pizza should I get? Twitch. Recommend stuff to me. Uh, that is not my address. Wow, it still thinks I'm in Winnipeg. That's hilarious. Remove, remove a thing. Add new address. Delete that address. Yes. Whoops. No. Fuck. Uh, we're speeding. Uh. Don't order pizza and drive trains at the same time, kids. Meat, cheese, and mushrooms, huh? That is the suggestion from Twitch. Yes, confirm address. Select this one. Edit. There we go. Delete. There we go. Now that Winnipeg is no longer on our list, grab some pizza. If you eat meat, that is. Yes, I eat meat. I'm not a degenerate. Oh fuck! Gotta stop now. Uh, we're fine. We only ever so slowly overran that. At least where it wanted us to stop. We're still in the siding, so who gives a shit? Uncouple the thing. A uh, bunch of stuff with some sidings. Yes, where? What? There, yes. Go the right direction. Let's go a hundred miles an hour. Picking up those, I think. Window. Can I cook food? Ooh. Bam. Uh, 
Brake selection switch. Light engine? Vacuum? This'll be interesting. What does vacuum do? <laughs> We're gonna find out. And when you apply the brakes, it just starts to clean up the tracks. Just sucking up gravel, ballast. Uh, that one. Yeah. Yeah? Hang on. Uh, yes, that's the correct one. Apparently it's for a service I just arrived. I don't see a service anywhere, so you're lying to me, game. Unless, like, it took so long because it went the wrong direction that the service was just like, fucking him out. Can't be waiting here any longer. Nailed it. Easy joint. Coupling on at the right speed. Not too fast, not too slow. Watch this. I want to see if that actually bumps the cars or if it just phases through annoyingly. Oh, it actually bumps them properly. Nice. I really enjoy that bumping. I like it. I'm proud. Uh, where are we going? Over there, huh? Or are we gonna tie onto these and make one really long train? Yeah. Uh, uh, thing? Reverse. Come on. I think if you do it too fast, it doesn't work. You can't go right to two until it started moving. There we go. Come on, put in the effort. Get her done. Stopping over there, apparently. This is the switch we gotta throw. This one here? That one, yes.
this switch. We're gonna couple onto those cars. Uh, yeah, this one? Yeah, this one. Oop. See, I'm, I'm used to like, the, in the older routes, you just clicked on this and it switched already. But now you've got to put in the effort with the mouse. Hang on, can I half throw it? No, I can't even half throw it. What was, what's the point of this? I can't half cock a switch and put myself on the ground. It's so lame. So now I'm contradicting myself because I was ranting earlier about how derailments are pointless. Or we didn't need them. And now here I am complaining that I can't derail. <laughs> LOL! Ugh, air brakes. Taking forever to release. As they should. You know, it's air brakes. It's air. Oh, I don't recall ever opening the angle cock unless it does that automatically. That's loud! In my ears! I think it does open automatically. Uh, fine. Being lame. Being fucking lame cunt. Make me do all the work. Call yourself a simulator. Uh, wrong one. We're not gonna stop with that one. There we go, look at that. A little bit more. Come on, release too soon. There we go. Nailed it. Just go gently. Tie on, and it will be f fun dango. I enjoy that clickety clacking on the rail joints, it's so perfect. It's not perfect, it sounds stupid loud. Despite the train going only two per. But I enjoy that it's a thing. That it's not just a random sound, but it's actually like clickety clacking on the rail joints. Look at that! Oh, I see how it works. Okay. All right, let those brakes do those things. Do their do their thing. A couple for me, huh? Now what? Return back to where it was. Sure. We can do that. 
Wanna, wanna, wanna... Hello? Oh. There we go. I'm like... I'm quite clearly... Trying to go backwards, and you're not letting me. It's cause the throttle was on! Forehead? Alright, I think when we finish this, we'll wrap up the stream. This was alright. Enjoyable route. But improvements can be made, as I ranted, ranted about earlier. Alright, let's do pizza. Papa John's Pizza! I know, is Papa John's even good? Top of the list here. Let's have a gander at you. Get a 10 inch pepperoni pizza. Sausage pizza, cheese pizza, classic pizzas. Like a good old cheese pizza, pizza and keep it nice and simple. Maybe simple, but it's heckin' delish. Sure, we'll go with that. Original sauce, barbecue sauce, or ranch sauce? What do we think, Twitch? What are our thoughts? I like their original, their original Papa John's sauce. Sauce portion? What? I'm confused. One cheese! I could, I could, I love how no cheese is an option for a cheese pizza. Hello? Game? I don't understand why that's a thing for a cheese pizza. Yeah, I want a cheese pizza, but no cheese, please. So you just want pizza with sauce. Yeah, so a sauce pizza. Yeah. So why don't you just say that instead of asking for a cheese pizza with no cheese? Well, fuck off. Uh, my brain is a funny guy. I should release that. Full throttle. Let's break this locomotive. We gotta make up for the wrong direction that we went last time. Wow, we're we're going to Um What's your issue? Hello? Ooh. I don't, think I, should, I don't think I should be able to do that, but that's a thing I can do, apparently. Uh, as I was, ordering pizza. Fuck. Uh, phone? Can you figure it out? Uh, I don't need to worry about the sauce. Should we do like sauce, sauce portion? Do regular. Do extra sauce. Super sauce, and I'll do regular sauce. Cheese, 
obviously. Can't have a fucking cheese pizza with no cheese. That's just done. Shouldn't even ask me that. Do I want cheese on my cheese pizza? Fuck off. Well done or normal bake? You can go and full out with the options here. Uh, that's normal, I guess. Add feta cheese. Oh, now we can add like all sorts of cheeses. Feta cheese, extra cheese, can be cheese blend, cheddar, isn't that just, um, I don't know, I'll do, we'll do feta and cheddar and parmesan, we're gonna add bacon, pineapple, mushrooms, onions, black olives, everything, holy shit. Oh, we can also do half and half. The customization is mental. Yeah, it's like add sausage second half, add sausage first half. This is legit. Banana peppers. Uh, whoops. Climb down to complete this thing. Nice. Alright, that is that scenario. I'm going to order my pizza and wrap up the stream. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you gathered something for my rant. Dovetail, if you're listening, you can. your game's good, but you can do so much better. Take the time that you need to make the game spectacular. Don't listen to the people who are like, there's not enough content. Make the content good. Good content, not a lot of content. I mean, eventually you'll have a lot of content, but make sure that lot of content is good. Good quality stuff. With that being said, we're going to wrap this up. So hope you enjoyed. See you later, I guess. Uh, I'm going to enjoy my pizza. Peace out. Make love, not war. Do your homework. Bye.